done a hair video in a very long time but you are definitely going to be twisting I'm tucking it in at the back hi um, I'm sorry guys I'm gonna have to stand to do this should I call it a hair tutorial? I'm just trying to look decent, basically. And I thought, let me just take a video of this because I haven't done a hair video in a very long time. But but there's one downside to this, and that's I don't have any pins. And for this one, I want to do an updo. You know, I love updos, and I haven't done an updo in a very long time. Like I enjoy doing hair. The only time I do my hair is when. I just feel like doing it then I do it okay let's get started with this and the limited resources that we have and see what is going to come out okay since we don't have the headbands that I like using like this I only have this one we're going to use these elastic ones and they break easily but I'm gonna have to see how I can utilize this so for a moisturizer I'm gonna use this um, ORS olive oil with black castor oil I like using this not that I have a preference I don't really have a preference when it comes to my braids so long as my hair is maintained even though it has castor oil you don't find your scalp or your hair getting oily moisturizing my hair I haven't had that problem my hair keeps getting caught in my nails oh, so I just wanted to turn on the light it's not that I just stopped doing hair tutorial videos I actually just you know when, when did I stop doing hair videos I'm trying to think was it before COVID or was it during I'm inclined to say it was during COVID I just you know I think around that time I was just so very depressed I just I, I basically just let go of everything that I was doing anything and everything that excited me because we were in lockdown and the future was just so uncertain and a lot was happening in Durban South Africa we had the riots um, or the looting sorry we had the looting it, it was just a mess life was just such a mess nothing was certain everything was just up in the air so yeah i just I, I stopped doing a lot of things i even like stopped going out at the time it made sense because it was locked down and couldn't go out but i'm talking about after after the lockdown i just never went back to doing the things that I usually did I was not as active as I was before the lockdown so a lot of things just changed for me a lot of things changed so now I'm trying to get back to the things that I used to do before and the person that I was before obviously I've changed and all the changes it was not all bad you know some of it is good um, the last time I did a vlog I was staying at home and right now I'm staying in my own place so a lot has changed a lot and also before when I did my vlogs um, I, I didn't talk a lot I know the last the last hair tutorial that I did or was it the last two I actually did a voiceover but in this one I'm actually talking so you're gonna get to know me better that is if I continue to actually Oh, this is too much. I'm not trying to do anything much. I'm just wanting to create some order in the front of the hair here. And then I'm going to just cover this up and let it dry but I don't want to mess with my makeup because my makeup is already done I have a 
lot to get done. I'm actually supposed to do my hair on Sunday. I actually was supposed to do it last Sunday, but I was busy and I canceled. And I'm, 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 I'm feeling like I'm going to have to cancel this Sunday again because I have so much, so many things that are undone that I need to be on top of. Trying to really do anything of significance on my edges. This is what I ruined my hair. So let's style this braid. I've just received an urgent call that I need to attend to. So I need to head out a bit and then I'll be back and we will continue. So when I come back, I'm going to carry on with the tutorial and we'll see what comes out. Keep watching. So I'm back. I'm back. I took about probably what 35 40 minutes, and that's because at the pharmacy you need to wait. So, um, look at this how cute is this? Let's let's proceed with this though. Taking this down, and then we're going to use a whole art. We're going to use a whole lot of those elastic bands to hold the hair in place. So if you can notice, I'm doing this totally like as I go. But in order for you to make sure that the, the hair doesn't move, make sure that when you hold the hair that's coming from here, you hold it together with the hair that's at the top here. So when you twist, Firstly, I'm going to secure the bottom of the hair or the root, however you might like to call it. Secure it there. And just leave it like that. The, the, the elastic bands are black and my hair is black. So I don't want to make it tight, tight. I want to just make sure that it's, it's secure. And then take this part, twist. One thing you need to realize when you're doing hair is that when you don't have a mirror to see what's happening at the back, it makes it difficult. So for that part, I'm going to use this. So let me just spiral the hair like this as much as I can just to avoid drinking the video and then I'm gonna come back, okay? You know what? Styling your own braids, especially if you don't have a visual of what's happening in the back, is a chore. It is a chore. So, I think I've done a decent job. The back might look bad now, but I'm gonna try and fix it as as I go. I'm just give me a visual. So, what I'm gonna be working on, basically. a swirl like so is it going to work a swirl some sort of a swirl but it's going to go back and fit into the updo it's going to go back and fit into the updo so let's start to see if this is 
is a whole because since I don't have headpins, this is challenging. If I had headpins, I'll be securing as I go. Securing as much. Um, I actually ended up not securing the bottom of the hair. as I let go it kind of untwist so the point here for this updo is to twist and shape basically we're going to be twisting and shaping and I'm going to try and secure the hair onto the hair like with this one I'll run it, I'll run it underneath here I'm not gonna lose any strands as I go. So we're gonna use the hair because we don't have any clips to secure the hair. How that's gonna go? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We shall use the hair so remember in the beginning I said twist but don't twist too much well when it comes to this part you are definitely going to be twisting because you want it to twist and curl on itself and then you shape it twist shape twist shape just have it in your mind how you want the hair to fall. That's the only thing I'm keeping in mind right now. How I need this hair to fall in the end. struggles as well so I'm retwisting this hair retwisting it let me just secure with this only bobby pin that I have this is the only bobby pin that I have so I'm secured with that is in the way and I'm trying to twist the hair and it's blocking me Okay. 
this one I want to try and secure these two spirals that I've done already at the top here and also just to make it neat and tuck this hair I'm still going to try and work with those because you see it's been lifted so that's done that's done that's, I'm going to serve this over so we're going to twist once again but we're twisting this way again when I have the hairpins as much as the style might look like it's secure it feels tight though it feels tight and as much as the style might feel like it's secure it's probably not so with this hair because I wanted to swerve it So basically this is what we have, this is what we have, so I can just pull this down and we can try something else but for now I'm happy with this look, it's just that I wish I had something to, to show the style properly, I'm just going to put on the earrings. I hope that the audio is not as bad because there's a lot of noise outside. But I'm just hoping that I'm projecting my voice uh, well. Well enough so that you can hear what I'm saying. Unfortunately for now, until I get a good um, mic, there's nothing much I can do with this um, noise level that's coming from the road. So this is the look. This is me. I think the lighting is cooperating a bit. This is the style. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna turn and you can see the back. showing it well so that's the back let's see if we can accessorize this these are really cute this is 
it. I think this is great for going out for any special occasion or event that you might have. It's a wonderful hairstyle. I just wanted to show well I just wanted to show that you can actually style your braids beautifully and wear them any way you like you know anyhow I hope this style is an inspiration okay let, let's let's undo this and then see if we can do the front part differently try and see if I can secure with this. I don't have another bobby pin. Um, lighting is very important, okay? And I'm trying to see, because I'm pretty happy with this. But I cannot see the top, and this is how I need it to lay. I need it to lie down like this. Luckily, I quickly found one in my jewelry box. So, this is how I'm going to do this. I want it to be like that. You need to stay in place. And like this. Now, how cute is this? How cute is this? I personally love it. I personally love what I did here in front. So, you've seen the back. Anything you didn't see properly is what I've done with the front piece, and I think I've, I've done well with the front piece. Let me get back for a better visual, but I'm happy with what I've done to me as possible. So, this is it. We've come to the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Right now, I'm feeling like I want to do more hair tutorials because this is me. This is who I am. I'm about hair tutorials as much as I want to venture into doing vlogs. I love doing hair. So, we'll see. Maybe next time I'm just going to give you a vlog, the other time give you a hair tutorial. 
balance it out or maybe next week I'm also going to do another hair tutorial who knows just please subscribe comment down below tell me what you think about my hairstyle tell me what you think about my vlogs tell me what you think about the direction that my channel is actually taking now and the fact that I'm back and the fact that I'm back I'm excited to be back I can't wait to interact with you guys more please do interact with me on the comments I need to get to know you I want you to get to know me as well